Oh yeah. Um, best IDE? I don't know. What do people use for the IDE? Julia in 2020. Now, top IDE is Juno. Okay. Interesting. The installation and working of Juno are quite and can be easily learned. You can go to the following link to download Juno. Let's do it. Flexible IDE for the 21st century. Cool. Powerful free. Yeah, I like it. Uh, read more about it. Nah. Download Julia. Command line version. Um, yeah, okay, and I did that. Yep. Install Atom. Oh, Atom. Okay. I don't think I have Atom on this machine. Atom. Nope. Download. Okay, Atom's coming down. And uh, that's actually took me off the page. Let's go back. And then install Juno. Cool. Command plus comma. Go to install Uber Juno. Yeah, okay, this looks cool. Let's do it. Dun dun dun. Okay. Hello. 11,058 items. Uncompressed. Half a gig. Seems excessive, but whatever. Ah, uh, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. It's okay. You can figure it out. <clears throat> Half a gig. Downloads. Uh and extracting extracted okay where is it there it is grab it and drag it to applications and then we should be able to start it like that atom and get rid of that comma and and comma <clears throat> let me move this over here Type in Uber Juno. Let me close Visual Studio Code. Quit. Hello. Come on. Wonder what Julia is actually good for. This is why I don't use Atom. Dun dun dun. Quit this. Quit this. Anything else I can quit? It's not locking up my machine, it's just this process. Oh, okay. My bad. Atom. Yeah, my firewall is blocking it. Okay. I had a bad experience installing the Nucleide, I think it was called, IDE for Facebook. Um, key binding resolver. Oh. Really? Command minus. Okay, escape, escape, escape. Go away. Whatever. I think it's probably the packages that it wants me to do. So Uber Juno. Juno. Nope. Available updates, check for updates. Okay. So press command, comma, and go to the install panel. Install. Oh, okay, so packages is installed packages. This is pretty cool. I'm checking out it. I haven't checked out uh, Atom for quite some time. Maybe a couple of years. I just, I just got onto Visual Studio Code and just been banging that. And then I used... Um, Oh, nice. It found Julia on the system. Good. Close all. Um, I used... What did I use? Uh, Visual Studio Code, IntelliJ, and Rider. Those are the ones I use. Use Juno. Try opening the REPL with Juno Open REPL. Um, where's Juno? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, it's still installing stuff. Yeah. Settings. Uh, installing hyperclick. Is it still installing stuff? Is it done? It's still going. Installing language Julia. Well, while that is baking in the oven, let's have a look at like a Julia getting started, hey? Julia getting started. Package managers, build chains, IDE, got the IDE, getting started the Julia language. Here we go. Installation straightforward. Yep. Let me see if I've got it installed and running. And if I do that. No. Okay. Uh, okay, I did install it. My IDE can find it. Okay, so... Docker. Terminal. Built-in Julia command line. Platform-specific instructions. Uh, Mac OS. Okay. To start running Julia from the terminal, do the following. Navigate there and remove the... Okay. Let me just check if there's something there. Julia? No. There's no Julia in there. Ah. Anyway, I can see here. No Julia. So, then type in the following command. App. Like this. Simlink, and if I now type in Julia, Ripple, yes, good, okay, um, okay, that's all I need to do for that, so that's done, what's happening with Atom, open Juno specific panes on startup, specify the panes, default locations, splitting rules, packages, Juno, settings, Julia client, UI options, loud, oh. uh, okay, whatever let's just say yes let's let's say that we're going to use this for uh, Julia no don't send my usage data welcome goodbye Juno release notes reactor settings nope welcome guide workspace documentation interesting layout getting started okay uh, okay interactive session scripts Julia <coughs> I wonder if you can dockerize Julia applications. Uh, 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 what is it good for? Put the code into a script. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, variables. Man. This is very much like metaprogramming, let's just go straight to that yeah this is more like a reference than anything else let's try a Julia tutorial uh, boom okay cool yep ah oh, boring I want something cool and interesting. Data science with Julia. Tutorials. Uh, Julia tutorial. Julia by example. That sounds more like it. Simple functions. Okay, it's for doing maths. Strings. Converting and formatting, yeah, string manipulations, arrays, multi-dimensional arrays, dictionaries, loops and maps. Yeah, okay, I'm not a big fan of loops. Map, map. How do I do map? Okay, that's how you make a dictionary. Conditional evaluation. If true, okay, it's like Python. 
meaningful white space by the look of it. No semicolons, no braces. Um, okay, it looks pretty imperative. Mutable struct. Abstract string. Okay, it does have types. Bull. Okay. Types. Type defs and C. Yeah. Input output. Is there a standard library? Packages and including of files. Using calculus. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess I should start with like what do I want to do with it? What do you do with Julia? First steps with Julia on Kaggle. Deeper introduction to Julia for data science. Oh yeah, let's do some calculations then. Okay, yeah, we'll use it for that. I know what I'll do. I'll use it for analyzing COVID statistics. Julia. Okay, so let me create something new. Plot. Oh, it can do graphs. Hmm, okay, plotting. Oh, okay, this is what it's good for. Plots package. Okay. Tabular data. Okay, this is pretty cool. I wonder if I can load data from a Google spreadsheet. Yeah, okay, this this could be useful for something. Okay, so open a project. Open a project. Nope. Workspace. Let's go back to my Juno instructions. Uh here we go. Juno. Use Juno. Yeah. Troubleshooting. Basic usage. Command palette. <clears throat> Packages Julia open console. Cell based evaluation. Activating the debugger. It's more like it's kind of a scripting language for spreadsheets by the look of it. Plot pane will be automatic by plotting packages which support the interface. Okay. Pyplot. Well, let's just try this. So, I guess open a package. Go into workspace. Uh, make a new folder called Scratch. New folder called Julia. Open. Okay, make a new file. And we'll just call it, I don't know, what do you call it in Ju Julia? Julia by example. No file names, man. Okay, you gotta have file names. dot jl okay um test dot jl there we go save that and then if i go to packages oh plot paint plane outline workspace repl installing some packages okay Okay, I got a REPL, but I need a console. Oh, okay, it's automatically running. Start local Julia process. Uh, okay, it's already running. Run all. Let's see what that does. Um, this is thrilling. Julia. Uh -uh. I have an interesting project actually that I built um, in JavaScript. Let me pull it up. It tracks the news sentiment 
for Australia and New Zealand from a couple of news websites using Azure um, sentiment analysis. It's just automated. Let me chuck it in here. So every day it scrapes news.com.au and stuff.co.nz and then adds them into a, a Google spreadsheet. The back end of champions. And then it sends the headlines to the sentiment analyzer and then I get these graphs out of it. <clears throat> Mostly the news is negative. And how negative is the question, right? It's kind of been trending downwards in Australia. New Zealand is like a little bit all over the place. And this compares Australia and New Zealand. So the negative news in Australia is generally more negative in sentiment than in New Zealand. But you can see we have crossed over a couple of times. And then I can look into what happened on those days because I put the actual headlines in here. No, these are not, these are, sorry, these are not the headlines. These are the keywords from the headlines. So Azure can do keyword extraction and it can also do sentiment analysis, positive, neutral, and negative. So that's how I do that. Wonder if I could pull the data into Julia and get some kind of plots out of it. Whatevs. What am I waiting for here? Pre-compiling, starting, started, yep. Run all. Plots? Nope. Uh, okay. This language is boring me already. Square root, cube root, hypotenuse, exponential. Write a simple Julia program. High level programming language. High performance numerical analysis as fast as C and as high level as Python. Win-win is both speed and user-friendly programming language. Yeah, if I was going to do this kind of data science stuff, I would use Julia rather than Python. I know Python's the most popular one, but this one's got more kind of cachet with the cool new thing. What would be good is if they started from, here is an example. Like, I don't want to have to go through and learn variables, why, for loops, while loops, why, unless I'm building something. So I've got to go find a problem space and crush it with Julia. Well, at least, let me at least run something in Juno. Uh, 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 it'd be dumb to walk away from that, having gone this far. So Juno. So we'll run the command in Julia. Cell evaluation, inline evaluation. Can I do this? And pressing control plus enter, control shift enter. So I'll try command shift enter. Control shift enter. Control shift enter. No, command shift enter. Neither. Ripple. Load error. Require module. So probably means the package. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. What happens if I put that? I'll just run it down here. What does this do? I wonder where it installs it to. Um, how do Julia packages work? Where are Julia packages installed? Boom, I'm not the first person to wonder that. Built-in package manager. The question for me is, do they install on a...